Right, so today we've been asked to do a little demo of how to do certain abbreviations. So I'm going to demonstrate today a T2K, which is a twist two stitches knitwise, a T2P, which is twist two stitches purlwise, and then a T2K and decrease. So that's where you're going to twist two stitches knitwise, but you're going to also be decreasing at the same time. So we'll start with the basic T2K, which is where you're going to twist two stitches. So I'm just knitting a couple of stitches at the beginning, just so that I've got a little bit of stuff on my thread, on my needle rather. Now it's really simple is this, you knit into the second stitch. So I've missed the first one. I've gone in just in a standard way to knit that one. Of course, you can't slip that one off until you've done something with this one or this one will just run back. So then you just come forward a little bit and go in to the first stitch, knit that one as well, and then slip both of them off together. And you've swapped the two stitches round in order on the needle. Now I'll do that one again and we'll just go through it again really slowly. So I've just knit a couple of stitches to go in between. So go into the second stitch as though you're ready to knit it, wrap, pull that through, then come back into the first stitch, wrap, bring it through, slip both of them off. This is a way of cabling. This is like a mini, mini cable, but this is a way of cabling without actually having a cable needle. So just do you a couple more of these on this row. So I'm knitting into the second stitch and then into the first and again, I'll just do this as the last one. So into the second stitch knit it, knit the next one and you've swapped those round. Now it does use this on various different patterns and I'm just going to now just simply um, purl one row and knit one row just, just to show you the kind of effect that you can get with this because I think it's quite um, it does quite a nice one. It's quite often used to put a little bit of stitch definition. So this row I'm just purling, just standard purling. It's, it's a nice way to put like a little line next to a larger cable um, and it's used quite regularly in patterns for that. Um, so now we're back at the beginning. going to start this again. So you can see there how you've just got a slightly sort of raised bit here and you've got sort of the back which looks a bit like a, a purl stitch from the other side and that is how it's supposed to look so don't worry if you've got that, that is what you're aiming for. So oops, I'm going to knit my first two stitches. So into the second stitch, knit it but don't slip it off into the second stitch, knit it and then slip both off together and I'm just going to knit two, do the same again, into the first, the second stitch, wrap it into the first stitch, knit it and there we go, knit the next two and you start to get a nice little going up the fabric and I'm just going to knit to the end. So that's the sort of effect that you're getting and the more you do the more definition there is and the prettier it is basically. So at this point I, so I can show you cleanly how to do the next one. I'm just going to quickly purl a row and then knit a row so that I'm on the reverse side and I can show you the equivalent 
of how to do this purling. So you can of course fast forward this bit. need to knit a row so that I'm on the right side. Oops, just double wrap it then. Wouldn't be good. Right, okay, so this point I'm on the back on the purl side. So we're going to now twist some stitches purl ways. So again I'm going to purl a couple of stitches at the beginning. Then you have to purl the second stitch and then the first stitch. So this is a little more fiddly. You go into the back of that one, purl it and bring it through without losing that stitch there. Then into that one, wrap slide them both off and you can see I've swapped them round there. So let's do that again. So you go into purl it, wrap, into the first stitch, wrap and then pull them both off. So you're going across the back of the work and into the first stitch. There can be slight variations on this theme but on our patterns this tends to be how we've worked it. Um, so generally if you follow this instruction it should work for pretty much every kink hole pattern that has this on. So again you can see there's a little twist going on there with that one. I know the work will look slightly odd because I've got some different ones down here. Um, and with this one you don't seem to get the same line so when you're doing it pearl ways it doesn't seem to give you the same line. Right okay I'm just going to now knit a row and purl a row to set up for the decrease version of this and I think once you see it it will really make perfect sense but um, you just sometimes it's just easier if you can see what people are doing. weird now is my work but never mind. <laughs> so we're now going to work on the T2K and decrease. So this is where we're twisting two stitches knitwise and working a decrease. So I'm just going to knit a couple of stitches at the beginning. So this time because we're wanting to work a decrease as well I'm going to knit into the third stitch along. So you can see I've got one two and then I'm actually in there and I'm going to knit it. But again you can't slip it off yet. Now in order to work a decrease you're going to knit these two together. So I've gone through both stitches there at the same time and I'm going to knit those two together and then slip everything off. So I've turned three stitches into two stitches. It's almost invisible which I think is really quite quite clever. So knit into the third one, then get your needle into the second pair, 
the two together. Slide all that off. Just do one more for you. So knit into the third one. Knit two together. And then I shall just, for this video, just knit to the end. So you can actually see there how it is starting to now taper in because at each point here you have actually done a decrease um, and I think that's rather a nice nice effect and a rather neat way of of decreasing on that one so I hope you found that useful and um, we'll try and mark it so that you can find these points easily in this video um, and we will link it to the patterns that we think is appropriate so I hope hope you like it and we'll see you in the next one bye